Hey there, I'm Tim, Head of Training here at Pencil, and I'm delighted to introduce you to our new Skills Spotlight series. Today, we're going to be focusing on prompting for image generation and really getting some basic golden rules under our belts. We're going to launch straight in with a prompt. So, keeping it really basic, generate a woman smiling. And we're going to put this into pencil using the stable diffusion model and just see what kind of results we get. We'll hit generate. For full disclosure, I have sped up some of these generation times just so we don't have to wait around. Now, what we can see straight away, what I can see, is that this doesn't match what was in my head at all. So we've definitely got images of women smiling, but We've got photos, we've got illustrations, we've got different looks and feels. The women themselves look completely different from each other. And as we zoom in a little bit, you'll see that there are also quite a lot of imperfections creeping through with a prompt this vague. But it is really creative. It's given us so many ideas. So there is a place for vague prompts. But most of the time we need to tighten up and I'm going to give you a few hints and tips. So to change this prompt, there's a couple of things that I'm going to do straight up. I knew that the images were quite inconsistent, so I'm going to specify that I want a photo. I could have said a painting. I'm going to specify the appearance of the woman and I'm going to specify the location. This uh, scene that the shot is set in and we're going to see what happens with these this time. So we'll press generate again and I'm choosing to generate 10 every time because the sheer beauty of image generation is that scale of production. And immediately looking at the images being generated on the right, I've got so much more consistency and I know that this image is much, much closer to what I had in my head. We have got, and you'll see as we zoom in on these, we have got still a few imperfections creeping in. We've got some inconsistent lighting. We've got some inconsistent shot types, but it is a significant improvement on our vague prompt. But if I want these for a specific brand purpose, how can I tighten them up even further? How can I match them to brand requirements, to colour requirements? Well, we can specify even more in the prompt and your prompts in stable diffusion can go up to a thousand characters. So there is lots of room for detail. Here, I'm going to add in three types of information. So I've got lighting, I've got colour, and I've got camera settings, including shot type. If you're not a photography whiz, we are going to have a further skills spotlight around photography styles in a later video. So let's press generate again. And what I'm expecting to see is huge consistency. Am I going to get it? And immediately, yes, it has really picked up on my requirement for warm and mellow tones. There's a real sense of that kind of early evening, golden hour light coming out. It's much more consistent about the shot type. It hasn't quite got there, so I may want to tweak even further. And the images are just a much better quality overall. They are much more realistic, bar a couple of small imperfections. So that's it in terms of the basics of constructing a great prompt. And we're just going to run through that again and just recap those five main things that we need to cover. So in this prompt and in any prompt, we need to specify the media required. This could be a photo, this could be a painting, it could be an illustration. We need a subject and we need to describe that subject. We need to say where this subject is, 
we need to specify the light and hue required. And if we're going with a photo, we need to have camera settings built into every prompt that we do. So that's it. That's the basics of prompting. We will have so much more information and there is so much more to learn. But thank you.